Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. And we're going to give you some more Glory Days Boxing Card and Dice. Brought to you by our good friend Anthony from Bleacher Bums Gaming and can be purchased at sidelinestrategies.com. Glory Days Boxing Card and Dice makes your tabletop very nice. In my opinion, the best card and dice boxing game or tabletop boxing game out there it flows marvelously also check out the glory days boxing facebook page link provided on the page and in the chat this is our featured matchup our first bout between Dwayne bobick and ron lyle that was a doozy that was a doozy folks I'll let you check that out yourselves if you want. But this is the main event for Madison Square Garden, scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. Big George Foreman taking on two-ton Tony Galento. Both pugilists want to get on a win streak. The last time Foreman was on the channel, he lost a surprising upset to Roland Lestarza. He got stopped, and that propelled Lestarza uh, to a heavyweight title shot against Muhammad Ali. That's up on the channel. I won't spoil that one for you. Tony Galento coming off a highly controversial defeat to Joe Macy in the Copa Italia. Those bouts were fought offline, but very controversial. And Galento thought he beat Macy, but got booted out of the Copa Italia, which was eventually won by Francesco Damiani. George Foreman, overall record, 76 wins, 5 defeats, no law, uh, no draws, 68 by stoppage. Tony Galento, 79 victories, 26 defeats, 5 draws, and 56 by stoppage. At ringside here at Madison Square Garden, Tribes Fan 879, how you doing? Hope all is well. Check out that wonderful channel and his Tom Seaver replay, 1971. I just listened to the last game. That was posted, I believe, yesterday. Again, that's Tribes Fan 879. So that's lowercase T R I B E F A N 879 Tribes Fan. Another wonderful YouTube content creator in our community. So this is actually a really intriguing matchup. As again, both fighters want to get on a win streak here. It's a 50 50 shot. That it will be a toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange for both fighters on the rolls. Rolls 1, 2, and 3 will produce a toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. So Tony Galento does believe he has a shot against Big George Foreman. Foreman's power is a 7 before fatigue. And if he has someone hurt, it goes to an 11. Tony Galento's power is a 5 before fatigue. And if he has someone hurt, it goes to a 7. Foreman's chin knockdown rating... He's hurt six and under. He goes down three and under. For two-ton Tony Galento, he's hurt six and under. He goes down two and under. Chin knockout rating, both fighters have a one. The will check for George Foreman, three for Tony Galento is a six. Cut rating for Foreman is a six. Galento bleeds like a sieve and swells up quite a bit. He's a 16. Foul rating is a three for George Foreman. Tony Galento, no choir boy. He fouls at an eight. George Foreman's trait is an Iceman trait. One shot power plus one to Galento's KO chin rating. So it will be a two. Galento's chin rating will be a two due to Foreman's Iceman trait. Tony Galento, dirty tricks. Any foul that is called a foul, will reduce the opponent's stamina by five points. Foreman lands on the inside, 0 through 47. On the outside, 0 through 52. Galento on the inside, that's where he wants to be. Lands 0 through 51. Remember, it was the left hook that dropped Joe Lewis. In reality, in his title opportunity, Lewis would come back to bludgeon him and win by TKO or knockout. It was by stoppage. Galento on the outside, not so good, 37%, 0 through 37. 
defense for Foreman. He'll block punches on one and two defensive rolls, three through five. Galento will get another punch through. Galento, well, zero through five, punches will be added. One and two, one more punch lands. Three through five, two more punches land. Foreman counters zero, uh, one through five, and Galento counters one through four. So there you have it. The final ringside instructions by the referee, center of the ring. Fighters go back to their neutral corner. We await the bell. Ten rounds, heavyweights. Both fighters trying to get on a win streak here. And there's the bell for Madison Square Garden. Six and a six. And Foreman gets right inside on two-ton Tony Galento. Foreman throws and Foreman will land. Those are big hard shots. Foreman out of the red corner. Galento in the blue corner. That is an 18 for Big George. Foreman inside. And Foreman will bomb away with four punches. Everything hard. Galento's defense is a five, and two more shots get through as Foreman just continues to batter Tony Galento with hooks and uppercuts. Galento backs up, continues to be nailed with shots. Chin check for Tony Galento, and he is hurt. Galento is hurt up against the ropes. 2.40 to go in round number one. Foreman looking for an early evening here. At the garden and again, he pins two-ton Tony to the ropes. Foreman's punching power now at 11, 14, and again, big hellacious shots by George Foreman. Banging away, looking to take Galento out in the opening segments of round number one. Four more shots get through. Hooks, uppercuts, right hand. Galento survives. The will check, but will he survive the chin check? Yes, he does. Galento ties up and holds on. The referee has to pry them apart. The referee has to pry them apart. A huge start for Big George Foreman. 2.20 to go. Looking to end this bout early. And the night for two-ton Tony Galento. A three and a four. And again, Foreman keeps Galento pinned to those ropes. Foreman continues to batter away. That is a 39 inside. Left hook to the body and a right uppercut to the head of two-ton Tony Galento. Two minutes ago in round number one. It's been all Big George, a two and a two, and it's going to be a toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. Galento's back still to the ropes. Foreman measuring. It'll be from distance. Big George goes first. 82. He does not land. Galento wings a left hook. 35. Left. Right. Lands by two-ton Tony Galento. And Foreman is down. Foreman is down. Oh, wait. It's three. No, hold on. Because that would have been... Well, it didn't land. So the three, power check for Galento is good. Three, Foreman's punch did not land. So Foreman is down. A left right by Tony Galento off the ropes. Drops Big George Foreman. Foreman trying to rise. Galento's issued to the neutral corner. The referee picks up the count from the timekeeper. Foreman will be knocked out with a one. He gets up. Unbelievable. At the count of nine. Foreman gets up at the count of nine. The referee looks into his eyes. Asks him if he wants to continue. He says yes. Unbelievable. Foreman battering Galento against the ropes. Toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. Foreman missed. The pudgy Galentos dipped down in his toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange, came up throwing left hook, right hand, nails Foreman on the jaw. Foreman went face first into the ropes and down. And now Galento looks to end it here. Galento looks to end it. It's a four for two-ton Tony. Tony 
As Foreman gets off the ropes, Galento from distance wings his punches. He will not land. He will not land. Foreman pushes him away. 120 to go. 120 to go in a very exciting round number one. Boxcars favors George Foreman. As Foreman pushes Galento away from him, now he gets in tight. Foreman throws 97. It will be a possible low blow, but the referee says it's on the belt line. One minute to go. Fans on their feet here. A very exciting bout for Madison Square Garden. A two and a two and it produces a toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange inside. Tony Galento goes first and Galento lands. Hard shots by Galento. That's an 18 as he windmills. Four punches get through in that toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. And now Big George, as both men are bombing away, Big George misses. Big George misses. And again... Because he missed those punches. He's down again. Foreman is down again. Big George Foreman is down for a second time in that toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. Punches were missed, so the three now becomes the chin check. And he is down. Oh, my Lord. What a turn of events here. Galento again rushes to the neutral corner. The referee picks up the timekeeper's count. Foreman is knocked out with a one. He will get up at a count of two. An angry George Foreman has been down twice. Referee gives him the mandatory eight. 40 seconds to go. Galento sensing he can end it. It's a six for two-ton Tony. He presses Foreman, trying to push him back. Galento will throw. He will not land. 20 seconds to go. Two knockdowns by Galento of George Foreman. A three for Big George. George trying to establish a jab from outside. A six for two-ton Tony Galento. Galento looking to get in tight. And Galento is going to eat hard shots. Galento is going to eat hard shots there. A 0-9 from Foreman. Four punches get through as Foreman bombs away, snapping the head of two-ton Tony Galento. Galento eats all of them. Chin check for Galento. He's down! Galento goes down! Unbelievable! Two-ton Tony goes down. He's knocked out two and under. He will get up and there's the bell. Three knockdowns in round one. As an angry George Foreman comes firing back, Galento rushing in with his barrel chest looking to end the evening for George Foreman, and he is tagged, and he goes down. Three knockdowns registered in round one. Foreman was down twice, a nine count and a two count, and as we just witnessed, two-ton Tony Galento was down. He does beat the count as he got up at three. So Galento down for a three count. We're going to score it 10-9 for Galento due to the two knockdowns. Foreman only scored one. Foreman landed 18 punches as Galento's defense is hit me. Galento only landed six, but they were hard, crisp shots had found the chin of Big George and sent him sprawling to the canvas twice. The crowd is a buzz here at Madison Square Garden. Two knockdowns to one. Would that still be... You know what? I'm going to make that a 10-8 round. And my scorecard is unofficial, unofficial. Unbelievable. Stanma for George Foreman, 60. Galento, 75. It's now down to 54 for Foreman and 57 for Galento. At ringside, we have Tribes Fan 879. 
We also have SDG Replays. Christopher Slovak, check out those wonderful channels. I am Sporticus, another fun channel. Please check him out and subscribe. Matt M McClelland, hope all is well. The Golden Eagle, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Steelers fan 1933, a.k.a. Matt. Tony Galento was a heavyweight contender in the late 30s, early 40s. Uh, the Golden Eagle 99 says, never heard of Tony Galento. He dropped Joe Lewis in his title bid, but Lewis would stop him. Also fought a war with Max Bear. G Puck is at ringside. Hope all is well. Unbelievable first round of <laughs> bludgeoning by both heavyweights. We go to round two. Foreman was down twice in round one, but then he dropped Galento. We try to finish him off at the end of round one. Here we go, round two. No fannies in their seats here at Madison Square Garden. A six for Big George. George pushing Galento back. A four for Galento. Foreman fights on the inside. He will not land. Those were big, hard shots, and Galento ties him up. 2.40 to go in round number two. A three for Foreman. Again, working in tight. A one for Galento. Pushing Galento to the ropes, asserting his dominance. It's a 21 in tight. Galento, again, remember he dropped Foreman fighting off the ropes. It 21 in tight by Big George. Three punches get through it. Two for Galento's defense. And another shot gets through. So four shots. And Foreman is just winding up everything to the head and throwing hard. And he is landing. He is landing. 2.20 to go. Foreman told in his corner. Knock him out. A two Foreman measuring. With that jab, looking to land the booming right hand and left uppercut, a three for Galento, and that's going to be a toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. Again, Galento fighting off the ropes from distance. Foreman measures. Foreman with a 49. Two crisp shots land in that toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. Right hand, left hook. And they are very hard shots as both men are bombing away, looking to end the evening. Galento doesn't land. Foreman hurts Galento. With those shots. Galento hurt on the ropes. Two minutes to go. Foreman keeps Galento trapped. He wants to end it here. It's a one. He's measuring with that jab. Looking to land the booming right hand. He will not. As Galento ducks underneath and grabs Foreman by the waist. 140 to go in round number two. Galento hasn't landed yet. Looking to load up with his windmill punches. A six for Foreman. Foreman keeps Galento pinned to those ropes. Foreman will throw and Foreman will land. Foreman will land as he just continues to batter away at two-ton Tony Galento. 26 in tight. Three punches. A left right to the body, a left uppercut, the five defense by Galento, and then a left right again to the head. So five punches get through as two more land. Galento's defense is non-existent. 120 to go, 120 to go. Big George wants a win. A one on the outside for four minutes, six on the inside for Galento with a start. Galento's going to try to fight his way off the ropes. He will not. And Galento was winging, but Foreman was able to parry those big blows away with his arms. One minute to go. One minute to go. In round number two from the Garden, scheduled for ten heavyweights. A three for two... Uh, for George Foreman. Foreman pushes Galento back into the ropes. Foreman throws. Foreman in tight. Will not land with that 51. Galento smothers him. Referee breaks them. 40 seconds to go in round two. A five for Big George Foreman. Foreman again trying to put his shoulder to Galento and keep him on the ropes. A four for Galento. Toe to toe they go inside. Foreman goes first and Foreman will land hard shots. Now concentrating on the body of the pudgy Galento. A 24 as Foreman lets three quick hard shots go. Lumbering wide shots, but they had good speed and power. Two to the body, then up to the head with one. 
Galento's portion of his toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange inside an 11, and Galento comes firing back as he windmills in that toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. Four punches land, both fighters snapping one another's heads. 20 seconds to go. Galento will have momentum. He landed four punches to Foreman's three. As we come to a conclusion, another rock'em, sock'em robot round here at the Garden of Five for Foreman. Foreman again pins Galento to the ropes. A one for Galento. Galento can't get his punches off. Foreman throws 46. Left, right uppercut, and there's the bell. Two more shots get through. Galento smiles at Foreman. Foreman leers back at him. A good round for Big George Foreman. He stayed on his feet in that one. Both pugilists stayed on their feet. Neither man touched the canvas this time. Again, three knockdowns in round one. Foreman was down twice. Galento once. And we give that round to Big George Foreman, 10-9. After two, we have Galento up unofficially, 19-18. to Foreman landed 17 punches. He has been in double digits the first two rounds of punches landed. Galento just looking to load up and try to catch Foreman, as he did twice in round one. He only landed four. A huge punch landed edge for George Foreman. Punch differential is 10. We go to the judges' scorecards, and we're using the generic judges' scorecards. As the commission collects all three scorecards, scorecards have been collected, collected by the commission. Stamina check after two rounds. Foreman with 50 stamina points. Galento with 43. Galento taking a hellacious beating. Yet he has dropped George Foreman twice. Foreman has dropped Galento once. We prepare for round number three, and there's the bell. Madison Square Garden scheduled for 10. Boxcars favors George Foreman in tight. Galento, they're going to go try to fight it out. Galento tries to work the free hand. Foreman pushes him away. Foreman ring center and 11 big shots landed by Big George Foreman. Four punches get through, snapping the head of Tony Galento. He digs hard to the body and Foreman comes back with another shot. Two more shots against the Civ like defense of Galento. Five punches, six punches. Now another shot. Six punches get through by Big George Foreman. A fast start here for round three. Galento, a human punching bag at the moment. A four and a four. And again, it favors Foreman from distance. Foreman working behind the jab. And Foreman lands big shots there. A 16. Two jabs, a right hand, and a left uppercut crash upon the cranium of two-ton Tony Galento. Galento eats all those punches. Chin check for Galento. And he stands up to it. 2.20 to go and round Number three. A two for Foreman. Two stars on the outside. A three for Galento. Two stars on the inside. Toe to toe they go. Galento's trying to change the tide of battle here. From distance they go. Foreman with a 50. One two by Foreman. Left right. Galento. Windmills with four punches land by Tony Galento as both fighters batter away. Galento just winging. But now Galento paws at his eye, sensing an abrasion possibility. And it's a five and an 11 on two-ton Tony. And his eye, there is blood, blood on the side of the right eye. Galento is cut on the right eye, near the right eye. Referee takes a quick look. They continue the battle here. Galento will have momentum. He landed four punches in that toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. A three for Foreman. Foreman pushing Galento back. A two for two-ton Tony. It's going to be toe-to-toe -to -toe inside. Galento will not back up any further. He stands his ground. Galento goes first. 
87, they tie up, they tie up, Galento continues to punch away, now Foreman punches away, and it's getting a little dirty with the shoulders and forearms, and the referee pries them apart, and admonishes both fighters for the tactics. 140 to go in round number three, crowd on its feet, a five and a five. Foreman, again using his tremendous strength, pushing Tony Galento back. Galento begrudgingly gives ground. Foreman throws. It is a 28 by George Foreman. Foreman digs two shots of the body and then the left uppercut to the head. 120 to go in round three. What a brawl from the garden. What a double header. A two for Foreman. A four for Galento. Again, Foreman now measuring with the jab. Foreman throws. Jab. Right hand. Nails. Galento on the chin. Chin check for two-ton Tony. He stands up to it and he smiles and sneers at Foreman. Foreman barks at Galento. One minute to go. Boxcars favors Foreman. He pushes Galento into the ropes. Galento comes bouncing off the ropes and Galento will get tagged. Three punches. Foreman continues to bang away. Galento's defense is a five. And two more shots get through as Foreman digs hard to the body, then back up to the head. 40 seconds to go. It has been a beating. Foreman is giving a beating to Galento. Snake eyes. Toe to toe from distance. As Foreman backs up a bit, the pudgy Galento pursues. Foreman throws 79. He misses. Those were big shots. Galento throws, overhand, right, left hook, and they connect. They connect on Big George Foreman. Foreman now paws at his eye. And it will be a cut or swelling. 16. As Foreman has a cut under his left eye. So both fighters have drawn blood here in round three. As it's under the eye, near the cheek, it shouldn't affect Foreman too much. 20 seconds to go on round three. What a brawl from the garden. A five for Foreman, one star on the inside of four. For Galento, one star, toe-to-toe, -to -toe they go, in tight, Foreman, Foreman lands with a 10, and again, Foreman just banging away, four punches! Galento with a 31, three punches as they continue to fire away, and there is the bell, had Foreman landed one more shot, it would have been a TKO. 25 punches land for Big George. He needed that 26 to end it. But another big round for Big George Foreman. Galento actually puts his hands up in the air as he slowly goes back to his corner. George Foreman landed 25 punches on Tony Galento. Somehow Galento still stands. Both men are a bloody mess. Galento with the cut right eye. It's off to the side. Foreman with the cut under the left cheek. And the corners will work on those two abrasions feverishly before round four. Galento, his best punch output, he landed 10. I would still say his best output for punches was round one when he dropped Foreman twice. Foreman would then drop Galento in the final seconds of round one. Three knockdowns in round one. Well, that is 15 punch differential. Holy cow. We give that round to Foreman 10 9. Now we go to the judges' scorecards as the commission goes to each judge to collect it. 15 punch differential. And the scorecards have been collected. What a wild brawl for Madison Square Garden. They continue to work on those cuts in the final moments between rounds. 
Joining us at ringside, SDSGJ Jamie, hope all is well, and Uncle Dave Gardner. Check out that wonderful channel. Had a basketball game up last night. Also check out Digital Dice with Dave Gardner and Ron Juckett, the podcast that makes everything nice, can be listened to on Spreaker and anywhere anywhere else where fine podcasts can be listened to. Also the YouTube channel. So here we go, round number four. Foreman nearly took Galento out TKO-wise. And bout number one of this two-fight card on Saturday between Dwayne Bobbick and Ron, Ron Lyle was a wild one also, so if you want, check that out. Here we go, round four. Punches landed through three rounds. Foreman 57, Galento 20. Galento leads in knockdowns, though, 2-1. to one. Stamina Foreman with 40, Galento with 18, Galento coming close to fatigue soon, of 2 and a 2, toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange, ring center, both men bomb away from distance, Foreman goes first, 37, and Foreman lands, hard shots, right hand, left uppercut, right uppercut, Galento fires in the toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange, he does not land, he does not land, and those are hard shots. Galento stands up to them with the chin check. 2.40 to go in round number four. A one for Foreman. A two for Galento. Galento bores in. Galento fires on the inside. He does not land. And they tie up. They tie up. Two-ton Tony was throwing hard, but Foreman ties him up. 2.20 to go in round four. A five for Big George Foreman. Foreman muscling in on Galento. Galento not giving any ground. They're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe once again inside. Foreman with a 23, and he bangs away to the body and again throws that uppercut to the head. Three punches get through for Foreman. Now Galento's portion of the toe-to-toe. -to -toe. He It's a 98, a 98, which will be a possible foul. And it will it will not be a foul. So one shot on the belt line. Remember, if Galento does foul, it's five stamina points off his opponent, opponent George Foreman. Two minutes ago in round, actually 140 to go in round four. A two for big George Foreman. Foreman trying to use the jab now to set him up with the right left. A five for Galento. Galento steps forward. Foreman throws. 91 for big George. From distance, and they tie up. Galento got inside, tied up, works that free hand. One to the Labanza, one to the back of the head. One minute to go here in round number four. A four for Big George. George from distance with two stars, a five for Galento. Galento slowing down, steps forward. Foreman fires, and Foreman lands. Big, big shots by George Foreman. He leads with a wild left uppercut. And then the right hand left hook. Galento eats all three punches. Chin check for Tony Galento. He holds on for dear life. 40 seconds to go. A five and a five. Foreman forcing Galento back towards the ropes. He will not land that first shot. 84, then Galento ties him up. 20 seconds to go. Foreman looking to knock Galento's block off. A five. Foreman again pins Galento to the ropes. A four for Tony. Toe to toe they go. Galento's back to the ropes. Foreman goes first. 43 for Foreman. And he bangs away. Left uppercut, right hand. Both shots to the head of Galento. Now Galento throws in the toe to toe portion. 77. He misses. Galento paws at the eye again. 1 through 10, that cut gets worse. It's a 12. No. Will there be a new abrasion for Galento? No. 17. And there is the bell. Galento cuts 16 and under. Foreman, maybe he's a little winded from punching Galento so many times. He only landed 11. Galento landed one questionable shot on the belt line. Galento has seven stamina points left. We award that round to Big George Foreman, 10-9. We have Foreman up 
As Galento, we gave Galento a 10-8 round for the two knockdowns, even though he went down late at the end of the first. And then next rounds, next three rounds, we've given to Foreman 10-9, 10-9, and 10-9. Punch differential is 10. We go to the judges' scorecards. And the commission has collected all three scorecards. They're telling Galento in his corner, throw punches, Tony, throw punches. Galento is a bloody mess. They've done a good job in the foreman corner on the cut under the left eye. Fans enjoying this slugfest at the Garden as we approach round five. Galento with seven stamina points most likely will go fatigued in this round. Foreman still has 39 stamina points. Here's the bell for round number five. A four for Foreman. Foreman on the outside, pumping that jab. A five for Galento. Galento walks forward slowly. Foreman looks to tag him, and he will. And those are hard shots once again. From distance, it's a 29. Foreman right he pawed with the jab, lead right, left, uppercut, right, uppercut, snapping the head of Galento, Galento chin check, and he stands up to it. He laughs at Big George, 2.40 to go. Boxcars favors Foreman inside. Foreman will throw, and Foreman will land hard shots again as he bangs away to the body this time. Left, right to the body, and then a right hook to the head. Chin check again for Galento, and he stands up to it. 2.20 to go. Referee looking on. Galento taking a horrible beating now. It is a six for Foreman. Foreman shoving back the tired Galento. Galento tries not to give ground, but he does. Foreman inside will throw, and Foreman will land again. That is a 21. Banging away at the girthy Galento's midsection. Two shots to the body, and then the right left to the head. Foreman's landed 10 punches, and Galento paws at that eye. 1 through 10. The cut gets worse. It's a 2. It is a 2. More blood comes flowing from the cut just to the, uh, just to the side of the right eye, but it is getting in the eye of Galento now. Second time that's happened. And the referee... Has called for the ringside physician. They bring Galento over. It is a TKO. One, two, and three. And the referee and on the advice of the doctor says it can continue. So two minutes ago, he ushers the fighters together. Two minutes ago here in round five, a six for Foreman. Foreman pressing the advantage. Blood continues to flow near that eye of Galento. Foreman will not be able to land. Galento ties him up. 140 to go in round five. Blood still really bothering Galento. He's blinking. It's a four for Foreman. Foreman measuring with the jab. A six for Galento. Galento trying to get in tight and smother Foreman. Foreman pushes him away. Foreman throws and Foreman lands and lands hard. He lands very hard. Galento can't really see those punches coming. Even if he could, he'd still probably get tagged. 25 from distance. Jab, right hand, and that hellacious left uppercut, nearly taking Galento off his feet. Foreman continues the assault. Chin check on Tony Galento. And he grabs on as his knees buckle. 120 to go. The beating continues of Tony Galento. A three for Big George Foreman. Foreman pushing the fatigue. Oh, you know what? Uh, Galento is now fatigued. Galento is tired. In round five, let's just do that real quick. As Foreman continues to press the attack. 120 to go, a three for Foreman. Foreman in tight, a four for Galento. Galento trapped on the ropes. Foreman will not land. Galento ties him up. One minute to go, one minute to go. Galento breathing heavily, bleeding near the right eye. Blinking. It's a six for Foreman. Foreman shoulders him to the ropes. Galento with a four. Trying to get off the ropes. Foreman denies him. Foreman throws in. Foreman lands again. Big shots by Big George. Foreman in tight as he goes two to the body. And then a hellacious left uppercut 
Three punches get through. Another chin check on Galento. And Galento holds up to it again, even though he's tired. 40 seconds to go here in round number five. A one for Foreman. Foreman backs up a bit, takes a deep breath, trying to catch his wind. A six for Galento. Galento surprisingly lunges forward. He throws. He will not land. Counter opportunity for Foreman. Foreman nails him with two shots. And that lunging effort by Galento. And Galento ties up. 20 seconds to go. Holy cow. A one and a one, toe to toe. Galento swinging like a madman. Blood flowing. Foreman throws. Foreman lands with the 43 from distance. Two shots get through. Galento windmills, but he cannot land. Had he landed, it was a one. Both men threw hard shots. Oh, hold on, hold on a second. So Foreman lands. Galento doesn't. Galento is down. Galento is down with that one. Oh, a bloody Tony Galento gets plopped to the canvas. Five and under. He is knocked out. He will get up unbelievably at the count of four. He takes the mandatory eight. And there is the bell. There is the bell. So Galento goes down at the end of round five. They've got to think about stopping it in the corner there. Second time Galento's gone down. First time the pudgy Galento crashed to the canvas was the end of round one. Gets up at the count of four, takes the mandatory eight. He is fatigued. He did not land one punch. <laughs> Foreman... Landed 20. We're giving that round to Foreman 10-7. It was such a hellacious beating plus the knockdown. Foreman now up 48-44 unofficially on our scorecard. Somehow Galento has survived. The judges' scorecards have been collected. So Galento is now fatigued. What that means is minus one off punches landed. His power goes to a one. His chin check, he's hurt eight and under. He goes down five and under. He's knocked out five and under because of George Foreman's Iceman trait. So from a four, it goes to a five. His will checks a nine. So everything looking good for big George Foreman for a big win here at Madison Square Garden. Round number six. Coming up, as they're just asking Galento in his corner, do you want to continue? He says yes. And this referee, corner, and doctor must be sadomasochists because they're sending Galento back out. Here's the bell for round number six. Funnier things have happened in boxing. A four for, two, for George Foreman. Foreman. Looking to end Galento's painful night. Working behind the jab. A two for Galento. Toe to toe they go from distance. Galento in his last ditch effort maybe. Foreman with a 29. And Foreman lands and lands hard. 29. Jab. Two jabs and a straight right. Here comes Galento. 50. He misses. Chin check favors Galento. He stands up to it with that 13. A two and a two. How do you do? Toe to toe again, ring center. Foreman, 84, does not land. Galento, 95, drives one south of the border. Will it be a foul? No. So on the belt line, Foreman still with momentum. Two minutes ago in round six. A four for Big George Foreman. Foreman pushes away Galento. Galento stumbles back a bit. Foreman jumps on him. He throws and he misses. He throws and he misses. Galento ties him up and now spins behind him. The referee breaks him. Two minutes ago here in round six. A five for Foreman. Foreman 
Pushes Galento back, a four for Galento. Galento stands his ground, toe-to-toe -to -toe inside. Foreman goes first with a 26. And he's going to land three shots. He digs hard to the body, then the uppercut to the head. Galento fires in his toe-to-toe -to -toe portion. He does not land, 98. Another shot possibly on the belt line. Galento continues to throw, and they're going to let, let that go. They say it's on the belt line. 140 to go. Foreman might be getting a little tired again, punching Galento so much. It's a four for Big George. George pushing Galento away. A one for Galento. Galento dead, tired, breathing through his mouth. Foreman working behind the jab. He will miss those shots. Galento parried one shot away. 120 to go in round six. We have two tired, battered pugilists. Four knockdowns in this bout. A 3 for George Foreman. George pressing forward. A 2 for Galento. Toe to toe they go. Inside. Galento back to the ropes. Foreman goes first. 55 for Big George. He doesn't land. Galento throws. He doesn't land. One minute to go. Referee breaks them. A 4 for Foreman. Foreman pushes Galento back into the ropes. Measuring with the jab. Looking to land the booming punches. And boom. There it goes. From distance, a 23 jab, right hand, left uppercut, buckles the knees of Galento, but he ties up. 40 seconds left here in round six. A five for Foreman. Foreman breathing a little heavy now. A two for Galento. Galento sensing something, has an advantage, but he cannot land. He cannot land. As Foreman smothers and leans on him on the ropes. 20 seconds to go. Final segment of round six. A three for Foreman. Advantage inside against a four for Galento. Foreman doesn't land and there's the bell. As Foreman goes back to his corner, he's breathing heavy. He threw a lot of big winging shots that just did not connect. How, I don't know. Somehow the pudgy Galento was able to evade them. Galento landed only two shots, questionable belt line shots. Foreman only landed nine, but we give that round 10-9 to Foreman. After six rounds of boxing, we have Foreman up 58-53 unofficially. Nine punches landed on the fatiguing Galento. Galento landed two belt line shots. After six rounds, Foreman's landed 97 punches. The Galento's 23. Galento's dropped Foreman twice in the first round. Foreman dropped Galento in the twi uh, twice in the fight also. Once in the first and once in the fifth. Punch differential seven. We roll for the judges' scorecards. And they have been collected by the commission. There's some questions going on about the scorecards right now. There's a buzz around ringside as we approach round seven. Who would have thunk, thunk it that it would go this far? All righty. We're ready for round seven. Galento breathing quite heavily. Foreman looking to end it. When you can end it, you better end it because you never know what happens in boxing. Here we go. Round seven. Unbelievable. Galento still ready to battle. There's the bell. A four for Foreman. 
He's on the outside. Two stars, a three for Galento. Galento, it's going to be a toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange from distance. Big George goes first, and Big George will land shots, but there's a little oomph off those shots. Now, that's a 35. Two jabs and a right hand land by Foreman. Here's Galento's portion of the toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange, and Galento lands three out of four due to fatigue. So Galento windmills his punches in. Unbelievable. Crowd rises with that initial toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange here in round seven. 2.40 to go in round seven. A six for Foreman. Foreman shoves a tiring two-ton Tony back. A three for Galento. Galento stands his ground, though. Toe-to-toe -to -toe inside. Foreman, 85. They tie up. They tie up. Referee breaks him. 2.20 to go in round seven. Four and a four. Favors Foreman. He's a little quicker from the outside. Foreman with a 43 will land. So Foreman lands a crisp Left, right, left hook, right hand. And Galento, again, that cut is opened up possibly even worse. It was an eight, so the cut does open up. And the referee, that is the third time for the cut. The referee has called for the ringside physician. A lot of blood near that right eye. Galento blinking. He is an awful mess. His face looks like raw Hamburg. Referee's looking, asking the doctor. One through nine, this fight is over. And they'll let it go on. Oh, my Lord. Two minutes to go. As Galento smiles... At Foreman, Foreman a stern look. A four for Big George. Foreman again from distance looking to end Galento's night. A six for Tony. Tony tries to get inside. Galento throw. Uh, Foreman throws from distance. He misses. Galento with a four actually counters with a left hook. Galento needs a one. He will not get it. And had he got it, it was a two. Foreman would have went down. So a good left hook counter by Galento does hit. Foreman on the chin, but the punching power just not there. Foreman still has 37 stamina points. Boxcars favors Foreman inside, shoving Galento to the ropes. And he's going to land with a 41. Now he starts to work to the body. Those two shots were to the body. 120. 120 to go in round seven. Galento a bloody mess. A six for Foreman. Foreman pins Galento on the ropes and looks to bang away, but it's an 83. Galento grabs on for dear life. One minute to go. Referee breaks them here in round seven. One minute to go. A three for Big George Foreman. Foreman keeps Galento pinned to the ropes, looking to end it. It's an 18. Big shots by Big George Foreman. As he bombs away, Galento eating all those shots in tight. Four punches get through. Foreman continues to fire away. Chin check for Galento. Galento hurt eight and under. He's down five and under. He is hurt on the ropes. 40 seconds to go. 40 seconds to go. And Foreman looking to end it here in round seven. Foreman measuring. Goes unopposed. It's a two. He's from distance. And Foreman battering away, battering away, battering away. And they have jumped in. This fight is over. Galento slumps into the ropes. The referee grabs onto him as Big George Foreman just finally got two-ton Tony Galento. It is over here in round seven. In the closing moments of round seven, Galento tired, battered against the ropes. Got the bejesus beat out of him. And finally, mercifully, someone stops this bout. It is the referee. He has seen enough. As the towel also came flying in from the Galento corner a little too late. Galento, they bring the stool out. And they plop the pudgy one on the stool. The doctor will take a look. A lot of blood near that right eye. To the amazement of the Madison Square Garden fans here. Galento was somehow able to stand up through that battering. 
When the referee finally stopped it, he slumped into the ropes, and the referee, my God, had to use all of his strength to hold him up, as also the corner of Galento comes in. The doctor again taking a look. Big George Foreman with the TKO victory in round seven. Foreman with that 11 on the inside. The final barrages landed four more punches. So 15 in total as they stopped the fight. 15 punches landed for Big George Foreman. Only in round six did he land less than 10. He landed nine. Galento landed four. Foreman, in just under seven rounds of boxing, landed 112 punches compared to just 27 landed by Tony Galento. But in those 27 punches, Galento dropped Foreman twice in round one. Foreman would come back to drop Galento at the end of round one. He would drop Galento again in round seven at the end, and then he has finally, in round four, excuse me, five, excuse me, and then would finally finish Galento off on the ropes in round seven. The official time, the stoppage comes at the 249 mark, the 249 mark. Here is your official announcement. The winner by technical knockout at 2 minutes and 49 seconds of round number 7, Big George Foreman! As they're still attending to two-ton Tony Galento on the stool. Galento a bloody mess. Foreman was also cut. Down twice. Galento down twice. They battered away. When Galento did land, he landed hard. But Big George Foreman showed his mettle, showed what it was made of. Foreman desperately needing a win on our channel for Glory Days Boxing, coming off a stoppage to Roland Lastarza, which earned Lastarza a title shot against Ali. Foreman feels he'll be back in the mix. So there's your doubleheader. Fight number one took place on Saturday. Bobbick and Lyle, that was a doozy. And this one lived up to expectations also. Galento and Foreman, four knockdowns in this bout. And finally, Foreman bludgeoned two-ton Tony, the pudgy wonder, against the ropes into submission. The referee stops it in the seventh round at the 249 mark. Foreman down twice in the first. Galento down once in the first, once in the fifth, and stopped in the seventh. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the bouts. If you did, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to do that, Hit the bell notification to know when I go live. I greatly appreciate your time. Check out all the other wonderful content creators such as Dave Gardner and the rest. I'd like to say thank you to Dave Gardner, SGJ Jamie, G Puck. Check out his wonderful channel. I am Sporticus, another fine YouTube content creator. Steeler Fan 1933, aka Matt. Tribes Fan 879, another wonderful content creator. Golden Eagle 99. Christopher Slovak, check out that wonderful channel. Matt McClinland, SDG Replays, please check out all the fine YouTube content creators in our community. Foreman, TK07 over Tony Galento in a, t in a really slobber knocker, blood, sweat, and snot about for Madison Square Garden. It was Rock'em Sock'em Robots with Foreman coming out on top, stopping Galento, 249 in the seventh round. God bless, and you know what's coming, folks. Peace! Love you.